All right, gang, welcome back to part two of the cheap gear door build. I kind of gave these uh, gear doors in about in a little, about 45 to an hour to dry. I wanted to make sure they didn't move. So let's take a look at them. Hooking up my uh, uh, Turnagey silver servo tester. And there we have it. Now, the purpose of that silicone adhesive was to take up any space, put it on the, a thick bead, that way it takes up any space that's behind, that's between the gear door and the uh, landing gear leg, and it also adheres. Once it dries, it's hard, it's rubbery, and it won't move. So, that makes it good, and as you can see, the gear doors are looking good, they're on there. Some people uh, take a piece of wood and uh, use it to attach the gear doors to, but we're not going to go through all that. We just use simple silicone adhesive. It was quick, easy, no fuss, no muss. Now, that silicone isn't going to hold by itself. So what we're going to do, take your marker. We got two things we're going to do here. We need to take out your first your marker, a drill gun with a drill bit, and electrical ties. I got four electrical ties here. The electrical ties, I don't know if you, how you guys buy your electrical ties. I have, once again, a trip to the dollar store. I saw electrical tires, a whole pack for only a buck. And look what I got with this whole pack. I opened up the pack, had a Pepsi, plastic Pepsi bottle. I just cut the top off, stuck them all in there. And believe me, I've used uh, a lot already. And look how much is still left. You know, only for a buck. Can't beat it. Like I said, we're going green in this shop. Uh, so, and I'm not the only one who pitch pennies. Other people do too. Just showing you a good way of doing it. So, anyways, getting back to here. What we do with our drill gun, first of all, we take our marker and we mark. Uh, we're going to put two electrical straps on each gear door to secure it. So, with the electrical marker, you just mark a dot there, a dot, two dots, one on each side. Same here, two dots, one on each side. Now, then we take our drill gun and our drill bit, which is about the size of these electrical ties. And we drill right where we even put the dots. Careful not to stick yourself. Like I said, we're not doing this for show. This is just for purpose right now. Quick, simple, real easy. Now, take our electrical ties. We thread it through the hole. Here, now I'm gonna show you on this side. We thread, we go through the, from the back, and we thread it through the first hole. Turn it around, thread it through the next hole, through the hole again. Then we thread it through the keeper and lock the tie in place. Hmm. Also, uh, and we take scissors or your tight tie or whatever and you cut off the excess. Do it to this bottom one. Same thing. Thread it through. Thread it back. Then 
continue to thread through the tie. And lock it in place. Then you take it, cut off the excess, and there you have it. It's secured. Cheap gear door, secured. <laughs> Can't beat that, can you? Now, show you again from the other side. Let me change the angle of the camera so you guys can see it from the other side. Like I said, just thread it straight through the hole. Thread it back in on the other side. Lock the zip tie down. Cut off the excess. Now, like I said, if you have an everyday flyer that you want to make it look good, you can do this too. Even if you have fixed landing gears, you can still do the same thing to it. Like I said, this is just to make it look good. And there you have it. Now, let's, now, now the last part we do. A little bit of white paint, because my gear doors are white. Don't even have to spray or anything. Just take a nice brush, some white hand paint, some white te testers paint on a brush. Don't have to mask it or anything. Just, just don't touch the wheel as you paint. It's as simple as that. Just don't touch anything. Whoops. Looks like I touched something. <laughs> That's all right. I can wipe it up. There we go. Simple. No fuss, no muss. No elaborate techniques or anything. Just something simple with the stuff you got laying in your shop or up in your medicine cabinet. Whatever. And most likely when it's going to take another coat just to make that look really good, which is no big deal. We let it dry and then give it another coat and she'll look real good. But this is, like I said, cheap gear doors. I'll knock out the other side for you real quick. That my field have my club has uh, two air fields. Uh, the electric field, which is only about ooh, 13 miles from my house, that's where I go after work on Fridays. Because my job, I work down in Valley View. If you're familiar with the uh, Cleveland area in Cleveland, Ohio, I work down in Valley View, and our my air field, our electric field is on Warner Road. It's only 10 minutes from my job. So, on Fridays, when I don't have to worry about going home and getting ready to go to work the next day, I go out to the airfield and I fly after work on Saturday, when I get off work on Saturdays. Something to help me relax a bit. I take a couple of my electric planes, pack it in the back of my 4x4, my pickup, and uh, I head for the airfield after, when I punch out after work. Get a little stick time, which is nice. But this is off my gas-powered plane, my nitro plane. And uh, our nitro field is in Grafton, Ohio. And that, well, that's a little bit of a hike on that one. I got to travel, ooh, 38 miles to get to that field. 
I do that on weekends, whenever I have enough gas. I plan on doing that a few times this summer. Take my, because uh, I got to get my P40 up. I know you guys have been waiting to see that P40 fly. So I get my P40 up and I take my P40 out there and I fly it. And also my T28. Last time I flew this T28 was the summer before last. And I, she flew good, but I brought her in kind of hard. Banged up the landing gears, all three of them. That's, that's when I had, well, I had to change the landing gears, put new gears in. And I was able to salvage some gears from my uh, Deuces Wild. My Deuces Wild came with a set of fixed landing gears as if I decided to do it, set it up in a fit with a fixed gear. I didn't, of course. I put uh, electric retracts or air-powered retracts on it. Robart air retracts. And so, uh, I had a set of landing gears laying around doing nothing. Good, strong gears. And they fit perfectly in this T28 with very little modification. Very little. So now the, the T28 has some good, strong landing gears. I'm going to get this baby back in the air. But I wanted to put new gear doors on her. Been wanting to do that for quite some time. Now that the gear doors are painted, as you can see, we, it was very simple how we did this. And we're going to see how they work. There we go. I'm plugging this in wrong again. There you go. See that? That looked good, doesn't it? Covered them nicely. And like I said, it didn't take much. It did not take much to do this. Just some simple stuff you had <coughs> laying around the house or something that you didn't hadn't put out in the garbage yet. And recycling those plastic bottles is one good way to save a few bucks, you know, and uh, make your plane look good. Because like I said, this T28 isn't a showbird, she's a flyer. She's a, she's a workhorse. And so she doesn't have to, she doesn't have to look good. But you know what? Why not? Look, you go fly, you look good regardless. But it never hurts to have a little extra, few extra things on your plane. So if you guys ever want to, do anything like this it's real simple you know if you got any questions post a comment and hopefully the now once I got got things out of, as much as I can out of the way so that next weekend which is going to be our holiday weekend uh, Veterans Day or is it Memorial Day Memorial Day Memorial Day weekend I have a three-day weekend which is great because I'm gonna go fly I'm gonna get some stick time in because uh, some of you have been asking hey we forgot you knew how to fly. Why don't you uh, show us what you can do? So I'm gonna go and get some stick time in. And I'm gonna leave the shop alone, take some of my birds out, uh, mount my cameras on them, and I'm gonna get some stick time and show you guys that I can fly before I forget that I know I can do that. So in the meantime, you guys have a good weekend. Enjoy what's left of the day. Good flying to you.